Hey guys, and welcome back to Misha's Corner. Today I'm going to show you how to make this super delicious semi-homemade peach cobbler cinnamon rolls, as well as this chicken ball and broccoli recipe that's so delicious and low carb. So first we're going to get into the chicken and broccoli, and I'm going to make the sauce by using liquid aminos. I'm going to be using some oyster sauce. Remember, all ingredient measurements will be in my description box, but it's pretty straightforward. Forward. I'm also going to go in here with some hot honey or habanero honey, whichever one you can find. I'm going to go in here with some sesame oil as well as some sweet chili. Now, I just had this laying around and wanted to use it, but uh, low key is kind of optional, but it works well with this dish. Also, it's been a minute. I missed y'all too, but life is just life, and y'all get it. If you're a parent or you know, life is just life and, you know, you're married, you're single, whatever, life is going on. <laughs> so to my ground chicken, I'm going to add a lot of um, green onions or scallions. I'm going to also going to add the zest of an of a lemon down in here. Sorry if I, it sounds like I'm rushing. I'm really not. I'm just getting back into the groove of things. It's been a minute since I've even recorded or edited a video. So we're going to get into it. <laughs> So now I'm also going to season this not too much because this of the sauce, you don't want it to be too salty. I'm just going to use garlic salt a little bit and like, you know, a little black pepper um, and an egg. And I'm going to mix this up and I'm actually going to cook this on the stovetop. All right, so to my skillet, I'm going to add some butter. Y'all know everything with me start with butter. Y'all rarely see me use straight up oil <laughs> or um, straight up salt in my recipes. And I'm going to form my balls and add them down into the skillet just like this. You can fit however much as you need. I'm on medium heat. While those are cooking, I'm going to blanch my broccoli. Now, y'all know what I say about broccoli. If you leave it in there more than 45 seconds, you are not a part of the Misha's Corner crew. Don't come over here bothering me. I don't care how soft you like it. 45 seconds and pull them out. And when you pull them out, put them in some ice cold water <laughs> so that they can stop cooking. Okay, we want bright, nice green vegetables. So once that's done, you want to flip your balls over, get them nice and caramelized like I have here. And I'm actually doing this on medium high heat because I have a lot in here and I wanted it to get a deep you know golden color also you guys this dish is really good and it's already in my rotation um i just had the ground chicken and i was like i have tons of broccoli because i'm on my broccoli kick right now make sure you guys you know hit up my socials and um see what i'm up to these days and you want to add your sauce and turn your heat up so it can have a really good boiling effect because you don't want to overcook your broccoli you just want it all to come together you know seamlessly and so now i'm gonna add my uh drained and damped you know i took the water off with some paper towel and then you want to add it to the meatball mixture and y'all look how good this look and i didn't even get done mixing it up yet like literally this is so good it's really really good now i didn't add rice or anything because i'm you know <laughs> doing my thing right now but if you want to add this to rice whatever you want to add it to but i ate it just like this um and that's what i did and this is how it looks the, the meatballs were tender when i tell you tender tender honey and cooked all the way through um and this is how it looks and i hope you guys give it a try and now let's move on child to something sweet and delicious okay that i ain't got no business eating um so I was in the grocery store and I saw these peaches and creams grand's biscuits and I had to give it a go. These are all the ingredients that you need. I had like a shot of the peach vodka left in my bottle back there and I decided to use it. Why not? You know, so to my skillet, I'm going to melt butter once again. The skillet is white, you guys, and the butter you already know. So it's not really showing. Now, the reason why I'm doing this step like this is because I didn't have brown sugar. So I'm doing it as if I'm making stew chicken. So I'm going to brown the sugar because I only use cane sugar in my house. Um, so <laughs> I added it to the skillet and let it brown just like this. Once it browns, then I add my can of peaches down in here. And also I didn't use a lot of sugar because then your sugar on top of sugar on top of sugar, which is, that's what it is anyway, but child, you get the point. It's not super sweet. <laughs> so you wanna mix this up just like I have right here. Look how good and delicious this looks already. You wanna let it reduce by half. You wanna add the peach vodka of any kind that you have or prefer, any brand. 
it doesn't matter add it in there or it's actually optional it's it's optional you guys you want to add some cinnamon down in here as well as some vanilla and you want to keep letting it uh, reduce until it becomes like syrupy It would kind of sort of look something just like this. Now I'm not gonna go all the all the way down, like all the way down, because it's gonna sit here for a while and it's gonna thicken up. While that's thickening up, you wanna add your cinnamon rolls to your pan, greased pan, and just add it to the oven. I didn't add anything extra. This is what they look like when they came out. Now this peach mixture that comes with the cinnamon rolls, I did use it on top because why not? Um, and you just want to put a little over all your cinnamon rolls just like I'm doing here. And um, it's just really good. I actually like the flavor. I wouldn't buy it again though because it's not something I should be eating in this moment of my life. But um, uh, this was actually really, really good. So I hope y'all can find it. And actually, I got it from Walmart. Okay. So this is a cinnamon roll in my bowl. I added some ice cream on top. This was actually vanilla. Oh my goodness, I don't forgot that fast. Really, Misha? Vanilla almond ice cream, and it's good. It's bro, that ice cream, I can't even deal. It was so good. So now I'm gonna add the peaches over top and the syrup, of course. Baby, you can't tell me this don't look good. And let me just clarify: no, you will not be intoxicated with that, you know vodka in there oh i also sprinkled on a couple pieces of sea of uh, kosher salt to cut through the sweetness and it was perfect uh, but no kids can have this the alcohol cooks off it's all good don't worry about it and now i'm just gonna cut right through and look how good this looks remember all ingredient measurements will be in my description box for everything thank you for your love and support and i'll catch you guys on my next video bye